Hello scrapbookers, this is Megan and I am back today with a fun new little hop slash series that I'm doing for the month of September. So every year for the last, I think two years, maybe three years, I've done a school themed hop challenge kind of thing on my own but this year Sarah Scraps said she was going to do one and so I thought I would join her and the way she's doing it is she's going to do it every Saturday for the month of September and we will all link up to the other ladies layouts. So for this layout today I decided to do a scrap lift and this one came from Paper Issues and it was by Kat Martin. And I am totally going to change my layout from hers so much. And I really, really love how this one came out. So you can see here that I chose this really, really busy background. And at first I was kind of nervous about it. Usually I try to stay with pretty simple backgrounds and if I do have a bold pattern, I used to use gesso and to kind of calm it down a little bit, but I didn't do that on this layout and it totally was nerve wracking for me. So here you can see I'm kind of going through all of the embellishments that I have from my school stash and I'm just making them not sticky. And here I am just going to pull off a few of these, what are these called? The little, I don't even know what those are called. I cannot think of the name. So I pull off two yellow ones because I had a couple packs of these sticker sheets and these are actually an old collection. I think it's from Studio G and I bought a bunch of them on sale a long time ago. So now here I'm just going through one of these 6x6, or this one might be an 8x8 paper pad, and I'm just pulling out a bunch of sheets that I thought I might use. For this one, I thought it would be good to have some of these pieces cut out. So I'm going to cut out a few of these, and I think I actually only use... I don't even use all of them, but I'm cutting out these ones. That one says nice work, and this one says homework or awesome or something like that. I can't really tell. Here I'm going to cut out these two and I thought it would be kind of fun to use that one, the yellow one that says first day, but I'm going to actually end up not using it. So basically here what I'm doing is I'm just cutting all of these things up. I won't make you watch all of it. Okay now I am going to get started on the layout. So I had this pretty, it's kind of like a bright green paper, but I really liked the way it looked with the um, the red of Jonas's shirt, and it's actually kind of funny. So these three photos are actually from two different times of the year. The This photo right here that I'm using right now is from the beginning of the school year and then the other two photos are from the end of the school year so I thought it would be kind of fun to do a uh, first and last day photo and so I'm just going to use a few different colors of pattern paper to mat each one of the photos so the first color is kind of like a darker green and then the second color is that yellow so here you can see I'm doing this second photo and matting it with the green paper. And then I will use the this yellow. I did pull two different yellows and I'm going to actually go with the yellow that's a little bit softer. I don't know if I want to say softer because it's still pretty bright, but it didn't have glitter on it. And this other yellow paper that's down there on the bottom left hand corner corner had glitter on it and I just kind of felt like this yellow was a little bit better. So here I am just going to mat that last photo and the top left hand corner I cut a little too much off when I was cutting out that bottom piece of the paper because I didn't want that on there and so it's going to have a little bit of a of a what is it I don't know how to explain it. I can't think. <laughs> it's going to have a little teeny tiny piece that doesn't have paper on it, but I'm going to hide it behind that middle photo so it turns out totally fine. You can't even tell. 
So this is what it's going to look like. I am very happy with how this looks. I am just going to add some Close to My Heart ink in slate gray. That is one of my favorite colors to ink with. And for some reason, this photo had some glue on it. I don't know how I did that, but I got some glue on it. So I was trying to get it off there. And now here I'm just inking the edges. Now I am going to start, I'm going to glue everything down and then, well not everything, I'm going to glue the photos down and then I'm going to start rearranging everything on the layout how I am thinking that I want it. And it actually does stay really close to what it looks like right now. I'm just going to kind of add a few more pieces. Here I am going to add an extra piece of paper on the back of that middle photo just because the other two were um, making it popped up a little bit more so it needed some more height and adding that one little scrap helped that. Okay so now I'm gonna start placing all of these embellishments down and I'm really just everything just totally fell into place on this layout. I am so happy with how it turned out. I just can't even believe how well it came out. So now here is where I'm going to start doing the title. And what I decide to do is I am going to cut the this vellum into, I think it was one and a half, I think it was one and a half by one and a quarter is what it's going to end up being. And so I'm going to cut it right here so that it's one and a half inches wide and then one and a quarter long maybe I don't remember and it's just gonna turn out to be this, these little rectangular pieces and I'm not gonna make you watch all of this because it takes me a, a while to get the title all done so here you can see I am now doing the stamping of the letters and I decided to go with a red color and that is close to my heart tulip if you wanted to know what that was and then outline it in black ink but when I start getting going I realize I don't really like how that looks it doesn't pop off of the background as much as I had hoped so I'm going to decide to just go with black ink and that looks so much better and I really absolutely love how the title turns out. So I'm just going to stamp out the words first and then last. So here you can see it's all stamped out and then I also have the word and in a alpha that is by, I think that's Freckled Fawn. Now here you can see I am gluing down the word yay, which that is from the new Maggie Holmes carousel collection. And I am so excited. I really, really love how that turned out. And then I'm also going to glue down this little wood veneer piece that says school days. I got a little too much glue on there, so I'm just using a diaper wipe to wipe that excess glue off. And then I'm going to glue down these little what are bookend thingies. I, honestly, I cannot think of what those are called. <laughs> So I get all of that done and I am so happy with how that looks. I'm not even going to add anything more down there to that bottom cluster. Now I'm going to work on this top left hand cluster up here. I had this circle piece that I'm going to end up doing my journaling on and I'm going to glue that down with the tags or not the tags but the little banner flags. So I'm going to glue those down and then I'm going to glue down the these cute little what is that like the pom-pom ribbon I don't know what if that's what you call it but that's what I'm gonna call it and I'm just gonna start gluing it down because I kept messing with it trying to make it perfect and I was just like you know what I'm just gonna glue it down so I started gluing it down and I really like how this part turns out and the pom-pom trim or ribbon whatever was actually in a giveaway pile <laughs> that I never have given away and I was so glad that I still had it because it worked out so perfect here and I love the way it looks. I'm going to make sure to have a little part of it hanging over more on the right hand side just above the title 
And that kind of ties the title in with the cluster since they're so close together that it doesn't look too disjointed. Okay, so now here you can see that I am outlining the alphas with this red pen and I just thought that that kind of helped the title stand out or each letter stand out a little bit more against the background just because the background is black I it, I kind of felt like it did need a little bit more of something to help it pop so this red marker just kind of helps it pop a little bit more and so now I'm just gonna start gluing that down and then this layout is pretty much done I yeah I think I'm just gonna do my journaling and I didn't even put a date I think what I'll do is above each or maybe below each one of the photos I will stamp the date so that you know each you know when the first day of school was and then when the last day of school was and that is it for my layout thanks so much for watching make sure that you head on over to the other ladies channels that are participating in the hop I will be sure to leave the links below so that you can find their videos easily and come back each Saturday in September because we will keep doing more school school layouts so our challenges are to use school themed products with school photos to use non-school themed products with school photos and then what was the other one now i'm i'm drawing a blank on the third the third challenge but basically school photos with different types of products thanks so much for watching guys and i hope you have a great scrappy weekend bye